Welcome back to Movie Speaks. Today I will show you a drama, romance, streets, hood movie film from 2017 title Plug Love. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. As murder handles business with one of his clients. While back walking he says to him, you know you still owe me right at the same time accidentally bumping into Carmen. While helping Carmen get back on her feet she drops her wallet that fell out of her purse, he yells I didn't get your name to which she responded I wasn't handing it out, so he smiles while she get in her car and leaves. While he's distracted the guy from earlier tries to pick up her wallet but murder stepped on it and he yells that's his cousin's wallet and he pointed at him and said you wild for doing that. And just like that murder walked away with her information in his hand, happy because he know he'll see her again. In this clip we see him hooping with his little brother Junior, and this is his younger sister Bree, it's his responsibility to take care of them both. Back home Lorenzo asked Carmen about the hills he bought her, she replied it broke, and he said you act like it's my fault, and she responded all these hoes calling her phone is for show your fault. He denied it and said he don't know what she's talking about, she laughs and asks if he knows a chick named Kelly, and you wasn't with her last night? He repeated the name Kelly and said no that doesn't ring a bell and put on his boots. He said eh you seen my watch? And she said nigga fuck your watch. She said the girl asked her who she was, meaning you're not telling them other dimes you got a soon to be wife so they can at least stay in their place. Fed up he said you need to stop worrying about them other females. She said if you would have control your casual encounters, none of this would have gotten back to her in the first place. He looks at her and said encounters? She asked what's so funny, that's what you're doing, encountering females casually. She said you're such a joke, you have a loyal ass grinding woman in front of you, and this is how you're doing me. He said you know what baby I do be trippin' sometimes and he tries to touch her, she told him don't touch her, as he walk away and leaves she said and you have a better day. A passer walking by tells murder you know the police is nearby, and he said why do you think I'm back here, he said tell your thick ass Annie I'm back here too. He's homie G Lo showed and they chopped it up for a bit, he tells him he could have 20 goons pull up on his rivals every night. G Lo told him the war is expensive, after his phone rings he leaves. Meanwhile Carmen friend calls her and asks her about her wallet, so she looks in her purse and didn't see it, then her friend told her about a random guy asked about her and wanted to give it to her personally, she gets mad about dropping her wallet with her money inside so she said I bet his ghetto ass took the money out of it. After getting his number from her friend she pulled up on the block where he was sitting waiting for her, he seen her and turn his head, she honks a few times and he smiles, he wanted her to get out the car instead so he could make his move, frustrated she gets out and yells excuse you, I know you heard me. He said look man don't be pulling up on my place of business like that, after she said she came for her wallet he asked for his reward. She replied she's gracing him with her presence. He tries to pull her, she asked what can you possibly do for me? And murder reply it ain't about what I can do for you, it's only about how I can make you feel and kisses her hand. She made him pull out his phone making him think he scored her digits, she said go to the camera and take a picture of her pulling off. Meanwhile Lorenzo side chick said to him you ain't hit this in about a week, she don't get wet enough for you? He said man stop playing, you know it get wet like Shamu. Then give her some money for a babysitter so he can come through later. Soon after Carmen busts through the door saying this must be one of those hoes that keeps on calling her phone, she push her and he get between them and said it ain't even that serious. To which she pushes him and told him yes it is, you keep playing with those rat ass hoes, when you have a real woman right in front of you. After telling him we just talked about this this morning, Lorenzo said you heard what she just said she's just my homie. Frustrated she said the only one out here looking stupid is her, and leaves his watch he lost from earlier on the table. Carmen went to the park to clear her head and at the same time murder there on a separate visit seeing Carmen, he walked up to her and said he's here to return $5 he borrowed from her, she said you walked all the way here just to give me $5? Murder said yeah I don't like to owe people. She reached over to take it and murder said the way Lebron looking on the third he's gonna need the five to pay the debt off. She tells him she wants her money he then said you gonna let them break my legs? Carmen laughs and said she ain't got nothing to do with that and she took her money, then leaves. He call her and said put your money where your mouth is and make a friendly bet, if she wins she get a friendly 50 and if he wins he gets a date with her, but she turn his $50 down and he yells well bet a hundred then big money and stop her in her tracks, she walked up to him and said alright bet a thousand and he'll get a date on top of the thousand and murder hesitantly answered all right at a bet, she said I'll definitely have a better day and leaves. In this scene we see Carmen and Lorenzo at the dinner table, as she closes the laptop and said we need to talk before we eat, he asks if she's still mad at him about earlier and she said no, he then tells her he's gonna get his life together, she begs him about not seeing other woman, and even told him she'll wear tighter clothes for him and she'll even spice up their sex life so he can find her sexy again. 
On the other side of town some goons pulled up on murder and tap him in the shoulder and asked what's your side. He replied what the fuck you mean what's my side while he reaches for his piece. Buddy said no disrespect my cousin said you put your hands on him so I'm just trying to get your side of the story. Murder paused and looked at them goons for a second and said the lil nigga stole from me so I chastise him. He said you playing daddy around this mofo now huh? He said more like big homie, while leaving he asked him you gonna be here right? Replied him right here ain't I? No sooner than they left murder finds himself in a gun battle. He ended up getting a couple shots off before fleeing. His homie G Lo said you know that petty shit only gonna fuck up the money. Sometime after the game Carmen met with murder to give him his money, he rubs his hands. She said I got your money in all pack of ones and placed it on the table. They ended up talking about her job and renovations for a bit. The more he talks the more she's feeling him. She's not used to the extra attentions she's getting. Trying not to catch feelings she excused herself. Later we see Carmen waiting for her food at a restaurant, and as she goes through her wallet and take out the five, and see the message don't gamble with love murder wrote for her, if he didn't get her attention then, he sure has it now, soon after she comes over to hang out with him and as she walks in he admires her figure, he asks what she want to drink and she says a glass of water with three cubes, he paused for a bit as she laughs. They had a good time enjoying each other's company and talking, and when it gets time for her to leaves, he tells her if you had a good time then why you gotta go. Tempted to stay she goes back in the room and they make sweet love. Without talking her homegirl ended up finding out she has a brand new man, saying she already know Lorenzo isn't treating her that way. Meanwhile G Lo's kicking it with one of his homies outside the corner store and ended up getting caught in a drive by shooting leaving them dead, and that's how Lorenzo and murder met. At the grave site, he thought it was one of the assailant coming to do him like his friend but Lorenzo told him he isn't on that. He's only coming to drop off his friend clothes off to him since he's seen them hang out a few times. He gave him his number to meet up for the pickup later, at the same time not knowing he's Carmen fiancé. After murder gets home him and Carmen went back in for round two, and this time no one's holding back, as Trey Song's dive in plays in the background. They made love as if they're the ones engaged instead of Lorenzo and her. Later on Lorenzo met up at the drop to give G low belongings and also seeing him ride in style, he grab a bag from the back seat to hand him, sometimes after Lorenzo leaves, he sees the work he left for him, confused he went back to the salon to return it thinking he must have grabbed the wrong bag to give him, he confirms it was the right bag, and just like that murder was in business with Lorenzo, as long as he got his money on time everything was cool. Later as Lorenzo is chilling outside, two investigators tries to get information out of him saying how is he making all this money and driving nice cars all day? And asking him what kind of job he's doing paying big like that, he answered they're all gifts, he thought about standing up for a second then changing his mind and kept quiet, not getting anything out of Lorenzo as they're leaving dropping their calling card. As Murder and Lorenzo chill outside having small talk and reminding Murder if the block gets hot the money slow up quoting what G Lo used to tell Murder, he also said he's just getting back from vacation with him and his queen, not knowing who she is at the same time Carmen greets Lorenzo and him, shock and angry and also not wanting to make a scene, Lorenzo asked him if he's okay and he replied he's cool he just seen this lil ho and some niggas he was beefing with, he asked where they at and Murder told him they already left, as they leave he yells hey she's everything you deserve. He looks at her one last time before leaving while she tries to keep cool in front of them. At the first chance she rushes to his house and tell him she didn't know that they knew each other and murder said you knew, and ask her how long you was expecting the fuck two guys that know each other? Then calls her a dirty bitch, he also tells her if she would have told him she had a man, he would have just kept it as sex, but she insisted she didn't expect it for him and her to get serious, she then tell him she finally finds someone who truly loves her and he pushes her off him, she told him she's in love with him and apologizes to him, he told her he's the reason why he looks at her the way he looks at her and kicks her out his house. Once she got home she calls her home girl to tell her what happened in great detail, not knowing she's on speaker with Lorenzo hearing the whole conversation about her and murder in the background. Then her girl told her to be all that she can be for Lorenzo before hanging up, 
Then she tell him to get his girl in check. She dresses sexy for him then tells Lorenzo she's leaving him. He then ask her are you leaving for something he's done or what she's done. She's shocked about what he just told her and furious about her cheating with murder on him and seeing it in her eyes and giving her 40,000 of his hard earned money all for her to give murder he grabs her and ask her out of all the money he helped her father made is that how she's gonna repay him? Then tells her to open her mouth, then sparing her life as she look at him terrified. On this scene we see Lorenzo pulling up on murder's house. Once inside he watches his ride and while murder backs turn in the other room he lets someone in. He confronted murder about the relationship and Lorenzo tells him it's cool because he knows he didn't find out about it till afterwards. As he watches Lorenzo get in his car about to leave an intruder shoots him soon as he turns killing him then Lorenzo stood over his body and said I guess nobody ever told you that love will get you killed. Then later told on Carmen and her dad and told them he's the one they've been searching for. Later not hearing from her dad she comes over to his house and agents walks towards her and show her a copy of her car keys and inside her car they found a brick. As she tries to process all of this they place her under arrest. Lorenzo recruited Junior to work for him and as his back's turned Junior took revenge for killing his brother. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for another banger like this. Thanks for watching.